I'm going to do a little unboxing, I should say a pretty big unboxing, of an order I got today from Ulig Kaktin in Germany. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big box, so uh, I'm just going to get this open and we can have a look what's inside. There are nine plants here uh, and five of them are going to be a random selection. So let's get opening, I think. Okay, I'll start with this one here. I do love the sound of brown paper wrinkling, especially when it's coming off a plant that you just bought. Quite well wrapped. Brown paper plus more brown paper. That's our first one. Neatly uh, chuck that on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's going to be soil everywhere. That's part of the appeal. Oh, hello. Right. So, this is an Adramiscus of some ilk. Let's see if we can zoom in and have a bit of a better look at it. That's quite nice. I don't think that's a variety I've already got. Let's have a look at the name tag. Somewhere on here. Oh, yeah, one of the leaves has fallen off, but that's fairly standard. That happens with Adramiscus. I'm actually surprised that most of them are still on it. Let's have a look, see. So, this is one of the uh, random ones. I bought a uh, Lucky Dip pick of five different Adramiscus. Got the tag. What have we got here? Adramiscus filicorlis this one. Not one I know a huge amount about. I think most of these are from South Africa, um, different regions near the coast of South Africa, but I don't actually know too much about this particular one. I think that's got a, yeah, <laughs> that's got a, a root ball on there that's just been tucked into the paper. I'm not actually going to take that paper off, it's going to spray everywhere. So there we go, number one, Adramiscus filicolis. A really lovely plant that. Right, let's try this little one behind it then. So this I think is probably going to be one of the cacti. A bit smaller. I need my scissors. There we go. much much smaller what have we got in here oh hello yes i know what you are you are one of my astrophytum oh look at that plant oh look at you so let me uh show you this one i'll try and zoom it oh look how beautiful that is so uh, that is a hybrid between, well, it's a, it's a multi-hybrid uh, Capricorn crossed with Asterius and then that hybrid itself crossed with the Super Kabuto, which I believe is a complex um, Asterius um, cultivar. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful plant. Look at that white flecking all over it. They've done such amazing work with some of these cultivars and uh, complex hybrids of astrophytum and they're quite hard to get in the UK so I'm super happy with that beautiful soft white flecking let's really zoom you in and see how well you can see that gorgeous gorgeous little plant oh I'm happy <laughs> I'm so happy <laughs> you put that down all right, let's go for another one of the little ones. Come on, there we go. They don't tell you on these other plant channels when they do their unboxings just how tricky it is <laughs> to work around this shot with a tripod. Learning as we go. Here we are. 
Right, this one's quite tightly wrapped up. This one's got to be another cactus, surely, hasn't it? Oh, there it is. Yes, my hyenopsis. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh, it's so little. Come here. Oh, come here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look how cute that is. All right, hold on, let me show you the tag. There we are. Zoom in on this one. So, my Hyenopsis bonnier inermis. So that one's a, a very sort of short-spined cultivar. But I couldn't resist this one. Look how delicate that is. A little uh, growth coming out of the main body of the plant. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice root system on it as well. These are good healthy looking plants. Very, very happy so far. Very happy indeed. All right, let's go in for a big one now. This might be another Adramiscus. Might be something else altogether. Let's have a look to see. on the paper, do they? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's an Adramiscus. That has droppied a few leaves there, to be expected. I think this is looking a bit like one I already have. Oh, come on. There's the label. What have we got? Okay, it's another Philicorlis, <laughs> but it is a subspecies. So Philicorlis, Philicorlis, the Philicorliest of the Philicorlises. <laughs> well, it looks rather different. It's definitely a different clone. Let's see if I can get this out properly without knocking too many more of its leaves off. I'm going to leave this one in a bit of paper. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe I'm not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that maybe they generally have quite shallow root systems. But it's mostly in one piece, so fairly happy with that one as well. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm going to be doing a bit of propagating with this one. Um, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> okay, next up. Who's in here? That's oh, I can <laughs> you can hear that uh, substrate already. This one's going to be sandy. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's another Adramiscus. Oh, that's another one I don't have. Brilliant. Let's get a zoom in on that one. So we've got Adramiscus umbraticola susp subspecies umbraticola. That's an interesting one. It's got quite uh, unified, sort of single-toned leaves, and quite a few Adramiscus have those sort of freckle appearance to them. That's a nice little plant. Let me see if I can get it out of its nest without spilling too much and have a good look at it. All right, there it is, root system. Not that many leaves that have fallen off this one, I'm glad to say. So that's a lovely, chunky, compact little plant. Love it, love it. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, next, a real big one. So this is probably something different. Let's get this one open. Now, if this is what I think it is, this is one of the ones that may not have survived the transport because it's not as keen on colder temperatures. So I may be opening up a pile of green mush, but let's hope not. Oh. 
bolt heavy, yeah. What have we got in here? Oh, it is another Adramiscus. I wasn't expecting this one to be. I was expecting it to be smaller somehow. Wow, okay. I think this is one I haven't even heard of. One second, let me get all this gubbins off and give you a proper look. So yeah, this one is something rather different. That is an Adramiscus Cariophilaceous Grandiflorus. Adramiscus Cariophilaceous Grandiflorus. I, I'd not heard of one of these before. It's a healthy looking plant, silvery, slightly on the leaves. Um, might look different in its stress colours in the summer. Let's give you a little bit of a zoom so you can see some of that detail there on the leaves. What a nice little plant. Excellent. All right, on to the next one. Okay, another dinky one. Probably a cactus. In fact, one, two, three, four. No, we've got one more Adramiscus somewhere in the mix, but I think this is probably a cactus. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a little Adramiscus. No, hello. <laughs> You're very different. Oh, look at you. Oh, lovely. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so this is quite a uh, popular cultivar at the moment. The little spheroid uh, Adramiscus marianii little spheroid cochleari it's ear like i think let's have a look i'm going to get this out and you can have a look at the shape of those little leaves yes so i can definitely see what they mean so uh the ear like leaves they've got that sort of incurved look to them uh like you kind of get on the echeveria topsy turvy they've got that slight curvature what a lovely plant I am very, very happy with this. I've got a few little cuttings um, of, I think it's little spheroid and some of the similar ones coming along in the greenhouse, but they are tiny. Uh, and as you can see, this is a lovely, very well established plant. Brilliant. All right, let's have a look at the last few then. All right, two to go. So this one's definitely gonna be a cactus, but which cactus? Let's see. Oh, it's got a bit more tape at the end here. Come here. Mm. Come on. Rip it out. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's a pot on this one. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I think this is going to be one that's quite seasonal. Yeah, there we go. We've got a Schlumbergera. It's a Christmas cactus, or a Thanksgiving cactus, I should say. Let's get this off so you can have a proper look at it. Right, here it is. This is the little forest cactus, the little Schlumbergera. This one is Thor Freya. Uh, I think the Thor hybrids are uh, done by a Danish nursery, um, hence the whole Nordic theme. It's got this one little, well, two little buds just about still on it, but I think they're probably going to die off from the transport. Uh, it's a sort of peachy, salmon pinky colour, this one, I believe. Um, a colour I don't really have. I've got a few Schlumberger already. Um, I'll just show you one that's in bloom for me at the moment. Right, going for a different angle here so you can see the blooming Schlumbergera. They are pendulous plants, so uh, they're in a way quite hard to film. I've had to rest this on the edge of my table, but hopefully uh, you can get a good look if I zoom in. The underside of these lovely, delicate, slightly translucent flowers, and you can see the little buds there, the ones waiting to open. There is a second plant in here as well with lovely red blooms to it as well. So hopefully the Thor Freya, when it survives, when it starts to put out its buds, will uh, go and join these little buddies hanging up 
Um, and uh, I hope its blooms are going to be that lovely salmon pink colour. Colour I don't quite have yet in my collection. Okay, the last one. So this is a cactus, but it's uh, not like any that I currently have. It's quite an unusual one. And you'll see why in a second. Quite big. I think these grow to be pretty large on the mature plants. Let's see what end is that. Okay. Let's okay, that one's folding over. Open sesame. There we are. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you look a little bit floppy. You'll be okay, I think. You're a little bit dehydrated. There. So that is my last cactus. And uh, look at its lovely little leaves. So this is a Perescia. And I'm just going to get the rest of that paper off so we can find the tag and I'll show you exactly which one it is. Great, so this is Perescia Diaz Romeroana um, and I think these are from Bolivia and these are, as you can see, quite unusual for cacti because they do still have leaves. Um, so I think there's some research that sort of suggested that these are closer to the ancestral form that leads to all the more specialised cacti that originally they were just um, quite thorned bushy plants effectively and that later on they came into these specialised forms for water storage that most people would you know consider when they thought about a cactus today. So what's my first time growing one of these? I hope I do all right with it. It seems to have survived the journey at the very least. We'll see how we get on. So I have very much hope you've enjoyed this uh, very first unboxing with me and uh, I'll follow up with more videos a little later on. Take care everybody, bye bye!